So let's say hypothetically you open up a level in Unreal Engine 5 and it's all red. None of these actors are connected in the sequencer to an object in the outliner. So it's not going to animate for you. Here's how to fix it. The first thing is that when you right click on an object, you can scroll up to assign actor and you can select an object manually. But the downside about this is if you have a ton of objects like this little animation I have here, there's a bunch of random dice and this would just take longer than it needs to be. So the way you solve this is first understand that level sequences are relative to the level. So this demo 001 level sequence that I have is actually connected to this level right here in my content browser. But if you'll notice, we're in demo 002. It's a completely separate level. So what I highly recommend you do is if you have to connect a bunch of broken actors like this, go into your content browser, control C and then control V. After you duplicate this level sequence, let's double click on that and we'll see that everything is still red. Now we need to make sure that all of the objects inside our sequencer are named correctly to the objects in the outliner. Now I will address a little bit of a bug slash weird workflow thing when it comes to using Cinema 4D Cineware files, is that whenever you import an animation from Cinema 4D into Unreal, it creates multiple objects with a visibility track and your animation track. So we have to go through and delete anything that is duplicate that does not have the information that we want. I want everything to be visible, so I'm just gonna go to my search tab and type visibility and select all of these guys. Scroll, 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 and delete. Now, if I see my sequencer, we have all of the objects with the corresponding keyframes. I'm going to go to my wrench right here, advanced, and fix reference actors. Give it a second to load. And now if I play it back, hey, look, our animation is playing. Awesome. But I will say from experience, sometimes this feature is a little funky if you have a really complex animation. So it is wildly important that you name your objects correctly, you label things correctly in your sequencer, and you save early and save often. I hope this tip was useful. If it was, let me know in the comment section down below. If you have questions, comments, concerns, whatever else, comment section is down there for that as well. And I will leave you with the final tip, and that is eat one gram of protein per pound of body weight, and you make some gains. Goodbye, my friends. Bye.